Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Friday, August the 5th of 2016. And you're looking at this Bitcoin chart and as you can see, the market's pretty much settling exactly where I told you it was going to settle at the beginning of the week. Here you see this incredible uh, parabolic move to the downside getting down to the 465 level only to recover back here and here we are trading at 574.97 and the market's just kind of hanging out around this level just as anticipated. So for those of you who followed um, the vocal report you know that you had an opportunity to get short back in here we told you where the support was and that's and that triggered your short when it was violated I then told you earlier during the week where to move your stop to lock in your profit and if you listen to me right now you're you would be in profit and in a position to actually take profit and get out of the market alright if you did not get out when it was down here and you held up into here today's Friday is a good day to get out and sideline yourself and get ready to um, you know take the next trade so at any rate uh, the Bitcoin this week was the trade of the week. This was a, a mega short. And if you were fortunate enough to follow along, you would have been able to catch that. Um, and it's just amazing the way the pulse waves work and how we're able to um, pretty much predict the, the price waves and where they're going to hit next. So stay tuned for next week to see what is in store. I'm very excited to know myself uh, once we uh, once I get the update done, and uh, we'll we'll be ready uh, come Sunday night. All right, let's move on to our next chart. Okay, moving on now to our uh, silver. This is the silver futures. As you can see, the market did uh, pull back uh, on Friday, moved the opposite direction of what I was expecting. I gotta be honest, I was really expecting for uh, the metals to actually catch a bid uh, and move with the stock market but that did not happen instead they did uh, decoupled and the metals really uh, got wasted today uh, the silver here had a had a pretty big pullback uh, down 70 cents so a pretty big move but overall you can see there's no technical damage on the chart all it is is profit taking from a major run up that's all you got here and you can argue that you have a nice little little flag here a bull flag and it looks really nice uh, we pulled back to the trend line right here the 1977 line that's all we did we just pulled back to the blue trend line right here okay so that's your first uh, major support as you can see price on these up drafts they like to you know hug the trend line here and that's all you got that's happening here so markets still well supported even way down in here and um, momentum did come off today you can see that here on the chart but overall the markets basically flat alright we're still trading within this range up here and not a lot of uh, not a lot of action outside of this trading range so this is one two three four so we're, we're now a month in this trading range five weeks alright we're we're not going anywhere we're still bullish we we'll maintain this bullish pattern which is great uh, we didn't crash or nothing like that. We didn't even come. Even if, you, even if it did come down in here, it's still bullish. So as long as we're above the uh, Kumo cloud here, momentum is still good. It's hanging on here to these trend lines. We're doing good on the future side of things. All right, looking now at the uh, SLV. SLV, pretty much the same thing. Markets well supported. Pull back to the blue trend line of 1873. Hey, uh, setting up now for a, a really nice um, next leg up and uh, we'll have to see you know, where we go. Are we going to get more downside pressure next week? It's tough to say. Um, I wouldn't be surprised but again the overall picture is still bullish. Nothing bearish on the chart at all. Now with that being said I don't know if we have any crash alerts or rally alerts going in the next week or not so I have to wait and see but as of right now overall the chart is still bullish. Okay, now looking at your silver miners, uh, actually a little bit more bullish of, uh, of a picture here. All right, a little bit 
a more bullish picture with the silver miners because it didn't actually come back to the blue trend line. It didn't pull back that far. Well supported still at 4808. That's our first uh, level of support. On the weekly, we're well supported at 4269. So very bullish uh, picture here as you see momentum coming off a little bit, but still very bullish. All right, look at the junior miner. Same uh, as you can see here, uh, 1693 is the trend line, the blue trend line support on that one. Mark is well supported at 1498, so really looking really strong here uh, to end the week on the uh, silver complex. All right, looking, uh, switching our focus now to gold, looking at the gold futures. Um, this one is a little bit more interesting because, yeah, we pulled back to the trend line support of 1339, but look at this. It's almost like a double top thing going on here. I would like to hope not. Um, I like the overall structure of uh, the gold situation right now. It is bullish, and you can see um, momentum. You know, came off a little bit, but the picture is still still nice. And the only concern, though, is you know we we didn't really do anything. We failed to take this part out. Just looking, just a little small slither of concern. That's all. I think we're going to skyrocket up and bounce next week, but, you know, we'll have to see how the price plays. Uh, and again, too, I need to see uh, what kind of alerts I'm going to have going forward into the week. Okay, looking now at the uh, GLD, he came down to the 127.42 uh, support line, and the market still well supported at 121.45. So still looking really nice here. Uh, not a lot of technical damage on the chart. Market is still very bullish, very sharp, and everything is looking good to go here on the long-term chart. All right, looking at the uh, gold miners. Uh, gold miners are strong, just like the silver miners. They didn't quite come back to the blue trend line of 29.41, and the market still well supported at 26.99. Momentum came off, but it's still looking very good. All right, looking at the uh, the junior miners, even even better than the uh, than the gold miners. You can see here, well supported at 47.38 and 42.62, and yeah, the momentum came off a, a bit, but still strong overall. Uh, just just very little profit taken, uh, as you can see here on the um, the width of the of this. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the length of this bar here. You can see that. It's very narrow, narrow trading range here. So uh, we could get a pretty explosive move uh, next week. Let's just hope it's to the bullish side. All right, pretty Ricky is what they call them. Let's see, pretty Ricky got down to 1034. Man, came within 10 cents of that 1024 support that I told you about. Isn't that amazing? Amazing how that happens. And the trend line is at 1010. All right, and the market's well supported at 861. So, pretty Ricky is another trade of the week here on the gold side of things. Very nice chart still. Uh, nice little profit taking here. Momentum coming off a little bit. Market still uber bullish, looking really nice going into next week. Hey, let's give a hand for a technical analysis. You know, technical analysis, that's what it's about. The trend line held up nicely, and this one really looks good. All right, so we end the week uh, on the on the on the metals complex here, looking sharp. Gold and silver's looking good, still bullish. The miners, junior miners, all looking really good uh, going into next week. So, um, oh, one last thing, we do need to take a look at this dollar. I seem to always forget that dollar, don't I? All right, here's what the dollar did. Dollar pulled back, came to this the trend line support of 94.94, and that's going to be the support going into the next week and we finished at 96 um, 16 which is pretty amazing uh, so to go from 94 94 to 96 16 is quite a move in the dollar the dollar is well defended here at the trend line so once you come to, down to the trend line market gallops up so right now same thing again only problem though is we're at the bottom of the Kumo cloud and it's looking like it's going to hit his head. Hit his head, bumped his head here and came down and I think it's going to bump his head here and come down again. So they're going to continuously be in a situation of defending the dollar. This could just, like I said, be a setup 
uh, to, to crash it. This could be a, a bull trap, and we could see ourselves coming down next week uh, in the dollar. That's what that that's my call. That's what I'm seeing here. Yes, it's in a positive pulse wave, but the it, the market's being defended, so it's not just you know regular ebb and flow trading. So, being honest, I would say because it's a hi. Okay, sweet. Let, let let daddy finish the video first. All right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. The, the people know you cute. All right, so going, going, keeping things, um, you know, honest. You have to go with the with the with the trend line, and the trend channel here is bullish. So you got to keep that. You got to. I'll keep it real with that. Um, I just don't like it because you can see the way these uh, these supports are shifting. That's all. You know the feds manipulating and doing what they're doing and it creates these kind of weird patterns like this and I just don't like it but you know keeping my bias you know bias doesn't make money uh, price makes money so you know going ahead I'll have to wait and see what the uh, what the system says but just me looking at it being a human being I'm gonna say um, the market is still in a flat line scenario these trend lines aren't doing jack they're just going sideways and so for all this price action that you've had technically you're not going anywhere you came up here and now you're back down to here again so you're not you're not doing anything you're just retracing basically 50 percent of this move that's all you did you, you drop from here to here and then you bounce 50 percent of that move basically here you go boom that's all you did you just did a little fibonacci move uh you know a fibonacci flip kick and <laughs> that's it here you are not much going on. Eh, I don't like it. All right, let's move on to the next. All right, looking at uh, on the equity side of, of the dollar, you know, same type of a situation, but a little bit more defined. You can see how we're just moving up in the upper echelons of the Kumo cloud at the bottom of it, you know, just trading along those sides. So it is looking like it's going to come down and they're going to have to defend it all over again. So. It is what it is. They they can try to prop it and keep it up, but they're not doing too much of a good job of it. You know what I mean? All they did was just stop the free fall. But to me, they're making it worse because when you know these lofty highs appear, people like it. It's going to come down again. So that's just the way I see it. So in any way, at any rate, uh, remember bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back. Everyone have a great weekend.